Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door. It's early November, and sure enough, after a few warm days, all of a sudden in my house, I'm seeing Asian ladybugs on my windows. This episode is going to be about Asian ladybugs, where do they come from, how they got here, why they're in your house, and what you can do about them. So stay tuned. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're going to find. First off, I want to distinguish between these invasive Asian lady beetles and our beloved native ladybug. These Asian lady beetles are relatively a recent phenomena and they can be identified by their multicolors as well as a close look at the pronotum, which is behind the head and right before the two wing covers on its back. The Asian lady beetles have a black M pattern on the back of their pronotum with various levels of distinction. On our native lady beetles, they tend to be a much brighter, deeper red and a black pronotum with a white spot on each side. While all lady beetles are considered helpful insects, the Asian lady beetle populations are the ones that tend to congregate in the fall on the sides of our houses and get into our houses where they can be a nuisance and affect quality of life indoors. During the 1960s to the 1990s, the U.S. Department of Agriculture actually tried to establish these Asian lady beetles in the South as a deterrent to aphids that were eating crops. Some scientists believe that the Asian lady beetle problem that we have now is not from these actual introductions, but from Asian lady beetles that were imported inadvertently on shipments. The first infestations on buildings and homes were first observed in the 1990s, and now they are prolific across the United States and Canada. Normally considered beneficial, they feed on aphids that we find on crops and vegetable gardens. But in the fall, they tend to congregate on the sides of light-colored buildings, on the sunny sides of these houses and buildings. They're also attracted by the contrast between black and light, like black shutters and white sides of the building. What they're doing is trying to find a place to overwinter. The adults are going to overwinter, hibernate, and then re-emerge in the spring. They'll find cracks and crevices on the outside of their house and crawl into the inner woodwork. We see them on warm days like this where they emerge into the house being drawn there by the heat of the interior versus the cold outside. Indoors in the warm, dry environment our houses, in the end, they won't survive. They'll dry out and they'll starve to death as their metabolism increased by a too warm hibernating temperature. Homeowners often find them emerging indoors during this time in the fall and then again in the springtime as day length alerts them to emerge. Asian lady beetles do not carry diseases. They don't feed in your house, but they can be a nuisance because sometimes they will bite, especially if trapped between folds of clothing, and they also emit a noxious odor and a staining yellow fluid from the joints of their appendages if they're disturbed or killed or when they die. A few lady beetles can be a minor nuisance in your home, but some homes, sheds, buildings, or IVs will often have hundreds, thousands, or even tens of thousands of lady beetles inside. Many people are extra sensitive to this smell and find them really horrendous. Indoors at night, they may be attracted to your lights over your dinner table and be a real nuisance when you're trying to eat. So how do you get rid of them once they're indoors? You can vacuum them up. You can actually put a stocking in the vacuum cleaner to prevent them from going to bag and dispose of the stocking as you wish. Or you can build this very simple and effective trap that has actually been tested and it's tried and true. Simply take a pan, fill it with water, add some detergent to that water. Dawn seems to be the preferred 
detergent by all my viewers and put a light over it. And by morning, you'll find it full of lady beetles that have drowned in that water. Using insecticides and pesticides indoors have limited results because they spend most of their time hiding and not crawling around. And also it outweighs the benefits versus the potential harm to having chemicals inside your house. The best preventative, of course, is exclusion. And you need to caulk up every crack and cranny and nook that you can find outside your home and put screens over any other possible vents and entrance points. As an ecologist, I want you to understand that you should not feel remorse about disposing of Asian lady beetles. These invasive lady Asian beetles are outcompeting our native beetles, and we're seeing declines in all our native ladybugs throughout the country. So helping to eliminate Asian lady beetles may help restore our own biological diversity of our native and beloved lady beetles. Thanks for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door, and I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and give me a like if this is something for you. I cover everything from amphibians to reptiles, from wildflowers to trees, from insects to fungi, I cover it all. Check out my playlists if you want to investigate particular topics, environments, or species. Thanks again for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door.